good attributes to dance around Olimar. However, Olimar's frame data is a lot better, so if he can space you out, he can find good whiff, pun whiff punishes with these Pikmin, get some damage tacked on, but those big active arcs do make it fairly easy for Elijah Min to swat these Pikmin away. It's going to all be about maintaining, like slowing down the pace of the game, in, in weaning in Shulk off these resources, and then maintaining that advantage state. I'll say this. He's just gonna turn red and kill him. I've seen this movie before. It, it, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's Olimar, right? Come on now. <laughs> well, but it's Olimar with a purple. This is kill percent. Ah. Party doesn't start until Elijah's gone through the full toolkit, in my mind. And then no disrespect to Infinity. I've seen I've seen this movie before. Pretty good, honestly. A little bit of shield action. And I don't know, I don't know really how much you need on Olimar to just to just get things done with uh It depends Smash, on yeah? what Pikmin you have um too. But Okay, yeah, he's gonna 40, go bust 44 here. percent here. It also depends on whether they whistle armor or the smash attack, right? Shulk having big startup on all his moves make them pretty easy to whistle armor through on reactions or something to consider as well. Oh, the shield having to come out preemptively though to avoid the pressure from these purple Pikmin. And that flower almost butted is gonna be extra damage. It's extra knockback for Infinity as he just tries to close out this first stock. Uh, a minute and a half in Zambo. Elijah Min is playing it slow but methodical and has managed to find some chip but just not an advantage state and Infinity is playing this matchup excellently so far. Oh wow, yeah. Really good recovery there from Infinity too. Waited out the uh, the uppy that you know is coming, that reverse edge guard, and that, that honestly could have killed him there. If he's not careful. I love that prayer from Elijah Min spacing it on shield to back off, recognizing it'll reset him, but also that it will kill the flowered purple. And while Infinity is able to find a second one for it, having to reset the flower timer is gonna drastically reduce his damage output. Here at a low, relatively low percent, that can be huge for him. And getting the Pikmin back on stage to get the increased up special. Oh, height, while also not losing his Pikmin, also huge. They're having to throw away the five, the red one, but able to hold on to the purple at least for the moment. Will he be able to? Yes, somehow managing to find his way back again. I don't know. I've seen I've seen things. Uh, you know, coming off of that solar flare performance from Elijah, I've seen too much. I don't. It's not that I don't believe in Infinity. I can't call it because that happens to people all the time. That nice. that, that that smash, right? And now, okay, never mind. If he hits that dash attack, it's a different story. I don't have anything to say. Yeah, well, the, dude, the dash attack there by right, sets up for an edge guard, and that's where Olimar can be really scared is when Shulk has that confident ability to ledge trap. Uh, just like we have now, you've got Buster on line to cut through these Pikmin like hot butter, or try and call it out, but Infinity's been so good on the defense, the air drift mix up, the parries to find any way possible out of the corner, willing to make those Pikmin get down for the president wow. as he then uses the hit lag from the yellow to find his way in under that up air being still active later than it should have been and able to find the up smash for his troubles. Beautiful stuff from Infinity. And he's had a, a, a steady, not large, but a steady lead that he has just built in dominant fashion as the minutes tick down on the clock. I've made a mistake here, clearly. I believe too much in the shirtless sword man. Oh, you Bro, know what? Listen, That's, this is Ontario on Ontario and it didn't work. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> the that, the, the it, up smash? Yeah, but it never wor it never works out of region. <laughs> but this is an in region matchup. We're just in Buffalo. Yeah. Don't worry about it. And you know, depending on who you talk to, uh, Buffalo is basically Ontario these days. I mean, hey, it might as well be. We'll give it. I'm from the US too. We'll we'll, we'll give you guys to Canada. Where do I sign the papers? Please. Yeah, yeah, get me out of here. Yeah, oh no. You'll I get free health care. I want to be a part of America so bad. Oh no, don't, Dude, don't send no, me to no. Canada. Oh. I want to give you free health care. I'd love some free health care. Please, maybe, Canada, you know, take us all. Maybe some coffee crisps. Oh my god. The dude. loonies and toonies and such, you know? Yeah, the Looney Tunes money. Oh uh, no, all respect to the dollar. What? Look at the timer right now. Yeah, that's what I've been mentioning. That's why I keep bringing it up, dude. 
Dude, Infinity is just playing this so slow and steady. Elijah Man hasn't had a consistent way in, and he's having to swing through these Pikmin at pretty point blank ranges, which is huge for Infinity because he can then utilize the hit lag on them, those already laggy moves from Shulk. Infinity can then just run on her, find an up smash, find a reversal for them, yes, just wow. like that there, right? He hit two Pikmin with that aerial. Oh, Neutral Iron normally Shulk's fastest aerial, but because of the extra hit lag, he's still active long enough for Infinity to dash back, line up the F's up smash, and then charge it slightly. That's insane! He has been playing this matchup so perfectly, so methodically, and Elijah Man having his work cut out for him to stay on winner's side here. Infinity, I have to apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. <laughs> uh, People that was, generally aren't with Olimar. We have an Olimar main here, actually, Interstellar, who is pretty good. He's all right, you know? Big fan, 716 product himself. One of uh, one of our staff members here, actually. But... Yeah, you've got... They're, Infinity they're might be on another days. level, you know? You know, we well, don't have to buzz. We don't have shoot on anymore. It's really 34... Kirby 5309. Myron? Myron. Myron the Myron zone. Yeah, he, he's just not active recently. Oh, yeah. I can tell you he, he exists because I helped him out with some Switch stuff. That's how I learned learned how all of our works was Myron explaining it to me in a Discord call. How about that? And then he beat me for three hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. I almost took a game. I almost took one game. Almost. Ah, uh, you know, that was really only game one. Yeah. What do you think of this counter pick, though, Zambo? Because to me, this low center plat is really good for Infinity. He's able to create so much pressure to lane Shulk to either go high or low with these Pikmin in combination with the platform. But at the same time, he gets so much off his jump. I don't know. You gotta wonder. You gotta wonder what the thought process is. But I'll say this. Once you do break that threshold and you get into Olimar's face like that, you know, not like right right in front of him, but once you're in that part of the cookie, I feel like you're not doing so bad. And maybe Leishman is relying on the ability of, for Schultz to kill horizontally. Almost got the kill right there. And I don't, I don't know, this is one of them Smashville type stages. You know how that goes. And unfortunate there for Infinity, tried to get that purple on the stage, but instead it's gonna go away. So he has to find some work to get a kill. He's gonna be looking for a grab here or to pull a couple more Pikmin. He's gonna maybe try and get rid of those red and yellow. It's and hey, the easiest way to get rid of them is on with the next stop. Uh, now he's gonna have three more to pluck. That's the perfect early percent and late percent lineup here. Unfortunately, the white gonna go away and the blue, but you still got that purple to find a smash attack. He grabs those, still aren't gonna do it. And this is where Elijah Man has really cleaned it up. He's fighting the Pikmin on a lot more of a mid range. Ain't so that Infinity can't just punish him for swinging into them. And then he's backing off, and then he's finding his opponent afterwards, and he's willing to just cut through the Pikmin, carve them up like it's a cooking stream, and then, you know, clean it up afterwards. This is Smash Mode. That hit a little ledge? It does. That's it does. Disgusting. I'm telling you, when Elijahman turns red, it's lights out, and Infinity doesn't really have that much space to go to to, to wait out the smash art. You know? Like, maybe. Also, Olimar's got a big nose. Olimar does a have big a big head. nose. But it's, in, it's, all inside the, it's all inside the glass dome. Yeah, but the dome has to be so big because of, the, because of his nose. Oh, true. And the result of that is that he has a big head that sticks above ledge, and so she can hit him easier. Just a top D on ledge. Just, you don't even have to leave the stage to do it. And this is looking great for uh, for Elijahman. Yeah, he's After we saw in the middle of saying, okay, you got game one, fine, but let me three stock you real quick. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, we're I'm not down, 100%. Look, see, I was going to say, I'm down to commentator curse it, and commentator curse it, I did as Infinity finally gets on the board. Work to do here, Zambo, but lo losing his white, losing his purple, is gonna make it really hard for him to get that early damage output. Red pummels, yellow pummels, give more hit stun, so that yellow pummel can increase his advantage state, but he's just gonna toss it away, reset the situation instead, and he's struggling to find any opening right now. 
Yeah, for sure. Things are looking very dangerous here for Infinity. This the stage workout, the stage counter take actually working out here for Elijah. Man. But it's not over. I've seen I've seen Olimar do unspeakable things to people, and it all starts with that grab. Never mind. I love that early smash attack there to apply the pressure into the checkmate because it acts as a projectile. Well, he's finding some chip damage, working through the pressure, and suddenly Infinity might have a chance, but no, it's gonna be that red glow of terror you were talking about. Elijah Min evening up the set count. 1-1, one, one, counter pick advantage on the line. And With a counter pick of his own, can Infinity keep it away, or will Elijah Min, the Ontario terror, flip this set in his favor? Well, when he's red, you're dead. It's the bottom line. I've seen it happen too many times to too many people. You know? <laughs> Elijah Min, one of, those, one of those guys who, if you let him play his game, you're going to die, and you're going to look real silly for doing it. Right? And I think Infinity was just in too many situations where he had to interact with, with the big sword. There was not as much, just not as much space to keep him out. You know, that, that's, that game took like maybe half as much time. It's just because Elijah Min, like you we were saying before, was fighting the Pikmin at mid-range, just killing the Pikmin, and then going in with an aerial, keeping Infinity out on the sides and just getting those horizontal kills. Mm -hmm. You love to see it if you're an Elijah Min fan. If you're an Infinity fan, I mean, sorry to say, uh, are we going to FD? Or do you just want to play the song? I mean, hey, I'm down to just play the song, man. Megalovania is a good one. It's a banger. Earthbound? Hey, it's the same game. That's what game theory will have you think. I don't, I don't listen to game theory. But that's just a theory. I don't listen to game theory. A Zambo theory. We don't, we don't talk no theories here. Let's, you want to talk about let me theories? Make my jokes. You want to talk about theories? Zambo, I'm Gen Z. Let's talk about how the government doesn't want you to put metal in the microwave because it's the secret to unlocking time travel. Yeah, the aluminium. You don't want to put aluminium in the microwave? Absolutely not. If y'all don't play the damn... Play the songs. Only play the songs. Never play the game. Play the songs until you get stalled. Zambo as the TO, getting, deciding when he needs to get up from commentary to go give the players a warning for stalling. If you don't play the goddamn game, messing around with the yeah, songs. Yeah, hey Zambo, what time does this tournament have to be over before you get at a late fee for the venue? Over. All right, late fee? What is this, Blockbuster? Come on now. Hey man, we, listen, we, <laughs> we, we actually had to cut a tournament shorter to Dave and Buster's one, so. Nah, never that. We're good. We're good on time. I'm not worried about that. But uh, I, I don't, I don't want to watch you pick your theme song for 20 minutes. I disagree. I think that's the best part of Smash Bros. It's the you know I'm a hater. I'll say it. I'm a hater. Play the damn game. You think we're here to play video uh, games? Especially if you're not wearing the headphones. I could see Infinity doing it, right? Elijahman had input on that, and why? He ain't got no game sound. What are you doing? <laughs> but what he's doing is taking oh, an early stock there. down to the Pikmin up smash. Maybe he got a little bit too lost in the musical mix. Because right now, Infinity looking clean here on Final Destination. Yeah, but he's red again. Oh, he doesn't get hit by it. I told you, man, it doesn't work. <laughs> it only works in certain area codes, yeah? Yeah. If you're in the 416, you're getting hit by that. That's all I'm saying. But when you're in the 716, no bueno. No bueno. Shout out 716. I think melee just ended on the other half of the stage. You can see, uh, you can see the clapping there. As Elijah Min just trying to desperately find a hit speed art, they're all flying now, and the jump going to a lot of pressure. Beautiful dial sword swap there into the smash art to get some pressure. Not gonna find the stock. No, he is Infinity using that elf special. Hold on, when you input a special move in Ultimate Zambo, it conserves your momentum. Yeah. So he just got carried into the blast zone by his own button press. Unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, especially because that's like avoidable. You know, he just had to, he just had to like up you later. Hey, yeah. Listen. As and many, now he's at 80. As many as many Smashers and content would say, he let it be him. And he's almost dead. He is dead. He's not. It's Olimar. Olimar yeah. has a crazy recovery, man. Yeah, you gotta play him in the blast zone yourself. <laughs> you gonna have to recover from getting hit by that edge guard. That's what you're doing. <laughs> True. That is not. Uh... He just got out of that. Um, um, 
of the multi-hit without shield are not something you see shulks do every day but then able to save it switch right back out now buster gonna give him a potential for some damage but buster also gonna make him lighter and infinity gonna take full advantage to even up this stock count the one bright side for elijah man at least he gets his arts back True. He does get his arts back, but you can tell that's not really what he wanted to do there. You'd rather have a stock in hand against any opponent, and you could, you could sort of see I'm the player I'm just trying again. to be optimistic. Oh yeah, you can be optimistic. I'm just saying. That, that's a, that's Infinity capitalizing on a mistake there, and it might end up netting him a game, as he already has Elijah at 77% here on Final Destination with two purples in hand. Hey. The thing with two purples, though, losing that white is going to be a huge loss in your source of consistent of damage. It, it, and now you have to throw out these purples early to get that damage going, which is an opportunity for Elijah Min to cut them down. One of them is gone. The blue does give grab on line. Fine. But now you have to try and keep this flower purple alive. You have to find a way to still convert your openings. Whistle oh. is going to be huge. He was dead there, but instead Infinity is going to save him. And... You can't make mistakes like that against a player of Elijah Min's caliber. You certainly can't, but it might not matter. He's at death percent here. Again, it's it's really only going to take one good read to, to make it happen. But Elijah Min is red, and he's on stage. I was going to say, what, what what's the word you say? When you're red, you're dead? Maybe. Yeah, when he's red, he's dead. He was purple there. No, like he used purple, but he was red. He was still in Smash Star. Yeah, but the purple Pikmin. Yeah, but he was red, so he was dead. Elijah Min was red, so he died. Well, I'm actually colorblind, if you can believe that. Really? Uh, no. <laughs> Zambo's been say. gaslighting me on the mic if he's the brown, whole he's, If he's brown, he's going down, I guess. <laughs> shout, out my, shout out my colorblind brethren. Oh, boy. You know, Listen. Zambo, I think I'm just going to respond to that by saying trans rights. Yeah, uh, honestly. Thank you. Oh, I yeah. appreciate your I'll support. I'll co-sign that. I I'll appreciate the that. support. Oh, yeah. I like being live and being allowed to cast match tournaments. I'll tell you this. In that order. I'll tell you this. Trans rights, trans lefts, trans ups, downs, all in the Z axis, all of that. As we get into game number three, trans on many axes, the Z axis <laughs> hopefully not going to come into too much. Impact here, though, Zambo, in um, the set. I'm not stopping until we have four-dimensional trans movement across every single channel. When I'm president, we'll make that happen. Until then, though, we're here on Kalos. Infinity has an opportunity to punch a ticket to winner's finals here. And this is this is some good Olimar play, right? When do you ever get to see this? When you watch Myron. Oh, true. Or when you watch Chicago Smash, now soon to be New York City Smash to check out Kirby 5309. I don't trust anybody whose tag is just character name numbers. Okay, so the reason for that is because the bu because the buzz and the rest of the Alamar Discord was joking about how nobody with a dumb tag had ever won a major. So Kirby, whose tag used to be Cyber, changed his tag to Kirby 5309 to try and top eight a major with the tag for the bit. For the bit? Yeah. Anyways, oh. ah. he's not on screen right now, so Elijah Min, though, opening up, racking up the damage quick, making this very much a story of the counter pick co possibly coming into play because this looks a lot like game two did, whereas games one and three look very similar, games two and four are looking very similar. And the important part to remember now is that it's gonna be Infinity with that game five counter pick, so. If push comes to shove, he's going to be the one with that comfort advantage. Yeah, this is, uh... You know what? Let's, I'm not going to say anything yet, because i got to see how the rest of this stock plays out here for Infinity. Things can go either really good for him or really bad. He's already at 62, and Olimar's a little guy. He can't really handle that kind of damage, right? We could be seeing a game five here. He's just a little fella. He's just a little fella who's fighting against Shulk with the big sword. This is not this is not gonna be easy for Infinity. This is this is Elijah Min's counter pick, yeah? Yeah, this is Elijah Min's counter pick as evidenced by the 2-1 game count in Infinity's favor. It's going quite well for him, it, I must say. It is, as did his last one. Remember in game number two? I do. I He's won there, on his counter picks, but he needs to find a way to win on the break in game like if he can force it there. He's certainly poised to now, but remember or er, this 
the show's not over until that curtain call ends, and you know the curtain call is still a long ways off. Can Infinity bring his way back into this? He's got a lot of work to do, but it's not impossible. If I got if I got beautiful stained glass windows like that, I'm not bothering with curtains. Like I feel you, but like that's not how stages work. You see, they ain't got no curtains though, yeah. I'm just saying. They also don't have... Like, what are they using this building for? Other than the Pokemon League. In the Pokemon League, yeah. It's the spoke. But why does it need to be that big? For the fans. Also, how expensive has it got to be to, ex to restore those stained glass windows every time a Pokemon explodes? I don't know. Pokemon don't really explode, per se. They literally have the move explode. Yeah, but that's like... That's just... That's like a... I don't even know what to say. It's, it's, it's it one of those things where the name really gives away more than... than you know. don't, don't even worry about that. Arnold. What? Okay. <laughs> I think, Elijah honestly, Elijah Man here playing like he's content going to time. And if I'm Elijah Man, you know, I am going to time. Because I don't want to risk... It's infinity when I e bringing his way back into this when I have this large a deficit. It's Kalos. How does Olimar possibly catch Shulk with shield and jump art here? And then when those are offline for the couple seconds they are, he's at kill percent. He's one stock away, one hit away from going down a full two stocks here. Here, infinity gonna even up the stock count though, and now we're gonna maybe see a break from that timeout play Never mind. for a second as an as Elijah Min does his tried and to drop off the angle plat and to kill you. Yeah, he, uh, we're going to get him There's no way. There's no way. The question is, do we go to time or not? You know, I hope not. Inshallah, we won't. Give us time. Give us time. Give us time. You can get it done. He's already at 66%. I'm a sucker for a good timeout. What can I say? I'm I the villain. I don't know if this is a good timeout. A good timeout is close. You know, overtime, last minute three pointer. So what you're saying is, what you're saying is a good timeout is Sinji versus John Numbers. Shout out John Numbers. Shout out Sinji. Maybe I've never seen that set. Bro, it's there, there's multiple of them. They're so funny. Watch them sometime. Anyways, is Elijah Ming not gonna do too much there, especially with shield art, but gonna be able to get jump and smash online, give himself a little bit of extra versatility to just run this timer down, force an over commitment out from infinity perchance, and just using the oh, counter the foot full. Is he gonna survive some? Yes. Two air slashes for his troubles. And now he's just gonna sit here and shield again. Doesn't even have to bother going into the red. Why would you? You have Olimar at 117%. He's he's gonna die anyway. We're chilling. Big Bear coming out there is not gonna kill yet, but I think the next one could be dangerous for Infinity. He's, he's on his last stock, he's on his last legs. I've seen stranger things happen, but I'm not sure. Yeah, if I'm alive, man, left, I literally am just not interacting anymore. I'm literally no. just running away for the next 60 seconds. Of course. Why, why would you interact? What's the point? See, honestly, I think if Elijah Man wants to win this set convincingly, he just needs to play Sonic game, game five. Sonic? Yeah. Then he can really the run away the whole time. Yeah. I've never seen him play Sonic. Oh, I don't think he has life. one. I'm just saying it would be even easier to run away. Yeah, but that's like, you, you still got to play the game. Whatever. Up B from Eliasson <laughs> is going to kill it. And we're going into game five here. And they are really, uh, <laughs> they are really stretching that timer, eh? Yeah, and Eliasson is head in the set. hands, right? Getting pushed to his absolute minute or limit here. And right, this is a huge test of what it takes to be a top player. Can you clutch out these long, grueling game fives against characters that require as much discipline to fight against as Olimar? Elijah Man has just been starting to break into that next echelon of high-level play, but hasn't necessarily still had all that experience he wants just yet. My boy is drinking the This is a of that huge water. test for him. And hey, man, yeah, if you're going to come up against one of the biggest tests you face yet as an ultimate player, you better hydrate or dehydrate. I mean, there's hydration, and then there's like, there's, there's that. You know, if I see my opponent, if I see my opponent crush the water bottle like that, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie to you. That's somebody who's locked in. It's not about hydration at that point. It's about sending a message, eh? Absolutely. 
Elijah Min going into the tank here for game number five. Where is Infinity going to take us? It's just going to be the old classic PS2 finish things where they start. And the ends castle theme. Let's go. Oh, about 10, maybe. What are we going with? Is that the, this is the Salego Lunala theme? Sun and Moon? Man. I played Sun and Moon with the sound off. Bro, every, every, every cutscene I reference, you don't, you haven't seen. Every song we reference, you haven't listened to. I, this is what I mean by you're just uncultured. I'm cultured, I'm plenty cultured. You're not cultured, I'm sorry. I be eating yogurt. Bro, that's like the most plain basic thing you could have ever said. Nah, if, if you knew, if you knew what I was doing, Nah, that, that was a, that said, was a I'm cultured. I'm you get it. Yogurt. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. I you don't care. Saying, yeah, production is like, hey, listen, I, it's just I, I commentate for production and production only. That's that's just the fact of the matter here. We're whatever. It's game five here. It's starting to get a little bit dark on the water. We'll see if there's sharks in the water that are gonna kill the uh, the Pikmin. Or if Shulk, who is dressed for the beach, is gonna end up losing a limb here. Hey man, there's nothing style. like a good beach day, but you gotta make sure the atmosphere is breathable first. Elijah Min going full ball to the wall as Infinity is taking things a little bit more cautious. It's Elijah Min trying to find a way through this rainbow wall with his own plethora of colored capabilities. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Or he is trying to get an opening, but once again, on these larger stages, Infinity's just been able to set up under the platform, form, use the Pikmin to lane out Elijah Min, and he's had a really hard time get, finding consistent ways in. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. This is, this is really where the rubber meets the road here, and it's gonna be quite difficult for both of these players, but... Wait, is it not grass? Is it just like green concrete? I always assumed it was like really tightly cut grass. I don't think this. I don't think it's grass. It's it's like maybe it's turf, but I feel like it's just like floor, like sport it's just court, like, green like sport court. You know, like no, I don't think it's concrete. I think it's a little bit softer, like um something you something you'd play like four square on maybe. And, and, I don't know, like uh like a floor hockey ring. You know. Sorry, my brain just broke a little bit with how much we got into the floor as we get into who might just take this pivotal first stock in game number five. The one that is taking the first stock, Zambo, in each of the past four games has taken the game. So the question is, can the team players here break the trend or is it going to hold true? Elijah Min has the opportunity with Infinity Alleged, but has not found a lot off the ledge traps and instead just gonna get reversal with the get up. Down smash? What's Infinity cooking right now? And that was an up smash into an up air that did 30 plus percent to start off the next stock to a very, very good start from Infinity after waiting out and baiting that the unsafe ledge option there to, to get that first yeah. stock. But Mind I, you, one stock's been taken three minutes into the game. I was going to say, I, I was literally going to say, like, I, I might as well start just doing the ad read now. Uh, you want to? Nah. Well, well. <laughs> hey, Zerbo, is slow internet keeping you out of the game? The answer is maybe if you're Infinity, because he just lost his first stock. Finally, Elijah been getting on the board. Yeah, with faster internet, you can lose your stocks at record pace. Look <laughs> at my Elite Smash record. You know? Damn. Can't do that without green Zambo, light. Zambo has zero carriages in Elite Smash. His average GSP is 2.4 million. And you know what? I'm still out here doing what I gotta True. do. True. This the man's fans. still gonna fold me in bracket. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was gonna answer today, but I didn't. Because I knew that players like Elijah and Infinity were waiting for me, and I decided, you yeah. know. I was gonna enter today, and then I got here at 4 4 30. Well, you know who else is late right now? These two. It's been a it's been a quite the methodical slow matchup here for game five. Why not? Right? Why not give the fans a little uh, extra special length episode at the end of the season? You love when they do that. 
And Elijahman right now, maybe uh, on a bit of a negative cliffhanger here. We're going to see what happens the to him. Grab but grab with the blue, but just a couple too many pummels there, yeah. Zambo. And I think he might have been dead. Mm -hmm. right? He was, yeah. Because he, he waited out the shield art. Yeah, was... off the up throw. He was actually dead there, but just one too many pummel. Or wanted to play it safe and instead has to fight for that extra interaction. This could be the opening Elijah Min's been looking for. He is gonna dislodge the flower and purple. Well, wasn't able to get both of them, so it's still scary, but not as much so as it was before. Or Elijah Min's willing to play this, play this patient, but he has to be careful too, because he still has a good amount of work to do on this stock for Infinity and a whole nother one. With two minutes left on the clock, he has to start pushing the advantage state sooner rather than later. That's very true. That is very true. We've only got two minutes left on the clock. And I think Infinity is just content to just throw his various sons and daughters at Elijahman and just not interact. His, his ladies and gentle Of if course. You may. Pikmin across the entire spectrum. I don't know how it works with Pikmin. Well, they're rainbow colored, so. It is very true. Very and the rainbow is the color of death for Elijahman. <laughs> Actually, this, this, they're both pretty rainbow yeah. colored, eh? Hey, uh, again. All I'm saying, uh, LGBT. This is the LGBT matchup. We That's got true. rainbows flying left, right, and center. And I couldn't be prouder to be on the mic. Tons of rainbows. Tons of rainbows. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> As Elijah okay. busts out the Skittle sword, hits Olimar <laughs> right in the face, and we are last stop in game five here. As to what has been a very intense. Long set. We have about a minute left on the clock. Elijahman has to at least push the envelope here, get some percentage. But Infinity is just racking up the percent. And when it gets to that timeout, that white is going to be very valuable. So very smart of Infinity to just get that out there, get the percentage on. Elijahman's going to have to go deep here. He's, he's, he's at this situation now where about 50 seconds left. You really do just have to kill your opponent Hold in this on. situation. Hold on. Big up smash coming out there is not going to kill yet, and he's yellow. Yeah, but he just he is trying to find a way to tank through, survive. Buster's his opportunity. This is how he evens up the game count. But getting grabbed up throw, going to do it. Just like that, Infinity with the immediate pop off. Infinity. To win the game. And hey, that little up special at the end to hold on to that stock when you need it most, man. Yeah.